And now's the point where I try and come up with some intro blurb off the top of my head. But it just ain't coming. Today we'll be drinking and enjoying Deschutes Brewing's Royal Fresh Imperial IPA. So Deschutes Brewing is out of Oregon, I believe. Pretty sure. Reasonably so. Though I'm probably wrong. I usually am. Yeah, Oregon. Bend, Oregon. Which is a bit of a... Uh, a uh, <clears throat> beer fans uh, nice place to be, as I understand. There's apparently several very excellent breweries there, not least of which is Deschutes. They've been around quite a while. I believe the first Deschutes brew I had was probably their Jubal Ale, which is a holiday ale they brew every single year, and uh, it's generally well respected. They also have their Black Butte Porter, and they're, I think that they have a Mere Pond Pale Ale as well. They they seem to have several, like, really, uh, at least in the Northwest, easy to find, or on the West Coast, easy to find staple beers that are considered to be really good examples in their style. This is a an Imperial IPA, so that means it is relatively high ABV at 9%. So, yeah, that's decently stiff. Um, it's also 70 IBUs, which is decently bitter, and it's supposed to be a, a focusing on the tropical flavors from hops. Uh, the name Royal Fresh does not mean that it is using fresh hops, as I understand it. They don't advertise fresh hops at any place in the on the can, and it's packaged in um, early August, which is early even for even for Oregon hop harvest. So. I'm pretty sure it's not a fresh hop. They're just they're just using the word fresh because it's cool. I guess it's a play on royal flesh, possibly. Anyways, um, this is not the first bottle of this I've had. I've enjoyed the others I've had. And now I intend to uh, try and share somewhat of what I enjoy about this. It smells very inviting, definitely to the tropical side. So you're looking at um, like sweet oranges, not not necessarily very much grapefruit, more like a um, a really nice, really sweet navel orange, possibly a hint of tropical, uh, maybe guava or passion fruit. It smells like really juicy. It smells very inviting. Color wise, it's. It's still a pale beer, definitely, um, but it's to the darker side of pale. Nowhere near uh, amber or, or brown, but definitely yellow, gold color. There's a bit of a, a maltiness you can smell, which isn't always readily apparent, especially as you go up in higher ABVs with, a, with a, an IPA. Generally, the the maltiness is fully um, effaced, fully hidden by whatever hop character there is. And in this case, I can I seem to smell a, a light, lightly toasted, very lightly toasted, um, maybe almost a buttery and bready uh, note to it, which is pleasant. Yeah, it smells good. It smells good. Let's uh, see how it tastes. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so to to a large extent, the the taste follows the smell. So consistency, yay. Um, there is that sweet orange. There's kind of a tropical, but also there's a very distinctive grapefruit peel, um, or maybe like a a white grapefruit, a yellow grapefruit. The more the more tart um, grapefruit. Notes. There's also a, a, a bitterness to this, which being an IPA, you expect that. Generally with, a, with an Imperial or a double IPA, the alcohol involved smooths things out, brings up more sweetness, and so the, the hoppiness tends to not be quite so dominant in the mix of the beer with an Imperial IPA. But in this, it's a very pronounced hoppiness still, even with um, 
well, I mean, if anything, the hoppiness is hiding the alcohol, which is which is kind of interesting. It kind of flips the script on on what you might expect, given that it's an imperial or a double IPA. So in that hoppy tropical note, um, there's that kind of orangey note. There's um, uh, some tropical flavors, but I think it is mostly just the orange and that tart, bitter uh, grapefruit as kind of the dominant flavors. And then there's um, there's something else going on there. There's some secondary flavors that are playing a part. It feels decently complex, which, truth be told, for an IPA, sometimes the power of the flavors involved means that complexity isn't always welcome. It's not like the complexity of a of a, a whiskey or something where, yeah, you have powerful flavors, but you're pulling out this nuance that's carried by the high volume of alcohol. Here, yes, it is a higher alcohol beer, but it's more like there's a lot of different hoppy, bitter, um, floral, uh, fruity flavors that are all kind of coming together at once. And that does make for a, if you're, it makes for a beer you, you might not want to ponder too deeply as you drink, I think would be a way to describe it. Like, it's really nice to take this thing down in, I mean, you don't have to, you're not having to, to slug it or something, but maybe you drink this a little more quickly than, um, than a, a nuanced sipping dark beer or maybe a more subtly flavored beer. Yeah, just taking it in and swallowing it down, it works very nicely. You get that 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 trop that that uh, citrus and that tropical, and then you get this kind of nice, uh, just malty middle, and then you get a a decent. Um, kind of a spruce or juniper brush going down, and that's great. And then it's gone, and you, you're left with a um, kind of a woody, I think a, more of a, a woody, like a light woody um, uh, finish, maybe almost even a hint of white chocolate? I don't know. Um, and then you're ready for another drink, and it's great. And maybe if you hold it too long in your mouth, you might suss out some of those other flavors that together just add more to confusion than complexity. I think is the way I'm gonna try and describe this. If you had to, you know, if you, you forced me to, <laughs> if you forced me to make a decision or, you know, make a hard statement. Anyways, I do like this beer. It's a tasty beer. Um, but like I said, it might be tastier or most tasty if you're not thinking too hard about it. Just drink it, share it with friends, drink it with friends and uh, enjoy it while you do. Yep. Supremely juicy, surprisingly drinkable, freshly squeezed, no fruit was harmed in the making of this beer. Or that's what they say at least. Anyways, this is me drinking and enjoying the Royal Fresh Imperial IPA by Deschutes Brewing. And I will catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>